it's Fiona Hooper here, live on Facebook again, and I'm a landscape artist and I'd like to welcome everybody to this week's instalment of the Poetry of Painting. So, um, first of all, let me know who's watching, where you're from, and uh, drop me some comments if you would in the uh, chat there so I can see who's with me. It's lovely to know that people are watching and just to have a bit of interaction there, so that'd be lovely. Um, so um, do please ask me any questions and make comments in the chat. As I've said, that would be great. And um, again, it's mainly a light-hearted chat tonight again, about the connections between poetry and painting. So if anybody has any poems that they would like to contribute either to join me and read them out loud yourself either ones that you've written yourself or favorite poems that you found written by somebody else that would be brilliant i'd love to hear them and um, if you just like to send them in to me if you don't want to read them yourself then that would be excellent if you just like to message me with them they can be anonymous i don't need to know i don't need to tell anybody who wrote them if you want to stay anonymous that's fine um i appreciate that because i'm still a bit uh, a bit nervous about reading my own poems out in front of everybody but um i'm sure some of you must have a hidden poet include you know in you somewhere so Anyway, tonight I'm going to talk about a painting of mine and um, I've written a poem about it, so my second one to read out online, scary. Um, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the painting first. Oh, hello, Joan's watching me there. Hi, Joan. Lovely to see you on there. Thanks very much for making comments. Thank you. Um, do ask me any questions, Joan, or chip in with things if you'd like to. That'd be brilliant. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you about um, a painting of mine called Summer Pastures and what it means to me and what I was trying to convey in it and um, actually read my poem to you as well. So um, just to let you know that if anybody does want to join my newsletter, my VIP mailing list, um, if you go on to my social media, uh, then, uh, sorry, my social media, Put my brain into gear here if you go onto my website then you can join my mailing list and uh, you'd be the first to know about new paintings before they appear on social media and get invitations to events and things either online events or once we can get back to doing real physical events then um, you'll get invitations to those as well so uh, i will also put the link in the comments below after i've done the live so Summer Pastures, it's a painting that I did, um, it includes various things that I really like, um, such as water, and uh, I guess many of you probably know already that I love to create paintings that give a feeling of tranquility when you look at them. And uh, the main thing that attracted to me this subject, uh, attracted me to this subject was the sheer peacefulness of the place. Um, it's not a, a really long way from civilization, but there was no traffic noise, no sounds of machinery to disturb the peace, just the quiet, gentle sounds of nature on a beautiful afternoon. Um, the water was as still as it could possibly be. It was like a mirror showing the sky, the banks, and hardly a ripple in sight at all. Um, I'm sure in the winter or after heavy rain, it would be rather a different story. But on this particular day, it was hot, still, a summer's afternoon, and it was a place of great calm and tranquility. So let me just show you the um, painting, which I did in a, a wider format, just to try and convey the sense of peace and space of this quiet place. And I used a knife with oil paints to paint it, to give some different textures, such as the, the glassy water, the rough grasses by the water's edge, uh, the weathered wooden post, and the solidity of the buildings. So let me just show you that now. And it's a bit large, so I'll have to peer around the edge to make sure you can see it all. So this is the painting. Um, hopefully you haven't got too much reflection on there. 
So we've got the pastures at the sides. We've got the the old wooden fence, which is a little bit falling down now, and the drainage channel there with the water in it, which just about as still as it could be. Um, the barn in the distance and the trees, and it was just an absolutely beautiful day. And if I hold it a little bit closer, you might be able to see a bit more of the texture here, which is achieved using a knife. And I just really like working in that way. And although it was a, a really peaceful scene, I still wanted it to have some life and energy in the in the marks of the paint on there. So it is on my website if anybody would like to have a look. Um, just go to my website and you'll find it under landscapes. So here we go. Any more comments yet? No, no more comments. Do do please leave me a comment if you're there watching. Um, and I shall now read you my poem. So it is understandably called Summer Pastures, the same as the painting. And here we go. An afternoon stroll on a dreamy summer's day. Dragonflies darting here and there. A dog barks in the distance. The sound carried by the still languid air. I hear the gentle hum of bees collecting nectar searching for flowers in the warm grass, reflections of the clear blue sky and distant barn in a surface smooth as glass. Small insects skate lazily across the water, so inviting for cooling hot toes, sitting quietly watching the hole in the bank. Was that a water vole's furry brown nose? The lull of activity in the heat of the day the warmth of the sun on our backs. Linger a while on the old wooden bridge. It's way too soon to be making tracks. Pull a stem of grass and chew on the end. Let your mind wander and be free. Take time to be in tune with nature. It'll be good for you. Try it and see. Well, that's my second original poem that I've read out on social media. So please do give me some feedback. I, I'd love to know what people think of it. Um, I'm going to try to write a poem for every painting that I create. Um, hopefully the poems might get better, um, but I hope you like it, as I say, uh, with the poem to be included with the painting when it sells. So um, that's another little bit of added value to a painting there. Somebody has suggested that I, I make a book of the poems and paintings. So I'd like to know what you think about that. Do you think it's a good idea? I'd, I'd really like to know whether it's worth me, you know, going down that road. Uh, obviously, I've got a, a few more to do first. I've only got two poems yet to go with two paintings. Um, lots more paintings, but poems still to be written. Um, so to finish off with today, I don't think there's any, can't see any more comments at the moment. Um, so I've got a lovely quote for you. There's so much on poetry and painting out there. It, it's, it's amazing. I never realised until I started researching for these lives. And my quote is that painting is silent poetry and poetry is painting that speaks. And that was actually written by the Greek philosopher Plutarch, who lived from AD 46 until sometime after AD 119, which is a, a long time ago. And, and yet people were thinking about poetry and painting way back then. So mine's not necessarily a brand new idea, poetry of painting, but I like I like the idea of the poetry, the painting, the thoughts I have when I'm doing the painting, when I'm there the feelings and emotions that I get for that particular landscape and hopefully being able to convey the tranquility of those scenes to you in a painting and help you maybe relax and chill out by looking at them. So anyway, many thanks for joining me today. Don't forget you can sign up for my VIP list on my website and I will put the comments in the link below. So I look forward to seeing you all again next week. And if you've enjoyed it, please do spread the word to your friends and share this video and leave me some comments. That would be lovely. Stay safe, everybody.
bye now. Bye.